Hello and welcome. My name's Darren, and today I wanted to play Fate. This is another game that's been released on Steam. Um, it's an old game that I played a long time ago. And I saw it on Steam and I thought I would uh, give it a go. It's basically similar to Dungeons and Dragons. That's all I can say. Right. Let's click New Game. Uh, select Difficulty. So I'm just going to go for Medium Difficulty. Accept, accept. So now I need to select uh, face and hairstyle. Just leave those at random. So I'll just click random. Yeah, that'll do. My man, what should I call myself? Four. Yeah. Four. Accept. Um, what should I call my pet? Oh, I think I will have a cat, by the way. I will call it Meow. Since oldest living memory, the dungeon gate has stood in the heart of the old wood. Its doorway leads to infinite possibility, to subterranean lands fabled in stories and myths. Many adventurers have passed over that ancient threshold, some to find fame, glory and wealth beyond telling, and others never to return. The town of Grove has ever been the safe haven at the dungeon's mouth, a watering hole and resting place for weary adventurers. Here great tales are told by the inn's fire, journeys are planned and legacies are made. The minstrels sing of the great feats of heroes long gone, and statues ring the square, a testament to their deeds. After traveling many hard and dusty days, you and your faithful companion arrive at last in the fabled forest town, which waits beneath the long shadow of the gate. Within these walls lies the path to infinite adventure. It is here that you will test your worth, and perhaps find fortune and glory along the way. It is here that you will determine your fate. Mmm, that sounds good, doesn't it? All right. Oh, Tao's Tower of a great elite hill ogre barbarian whose name is spoken in whispers. Beast Biter. For centuries, it has waited on the 46th level of the dungeon. Its evil sleeping seeping upward towards the town. You must destroy it once and for all and rid the world of its evil influence. It is your fate, adventure. Will you meet it? Yes, I think I will. It's uh, loading now. Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. As I said, I pl played this a long time ago Your on the old computer. So. Welcome to the town of Grove. Explore the town by left clicking to walk. Visit the shopkeepers and search for quests to perform. When you are ready, enter the dragon dungeon gate to to your right to begin your adventure. So that's me there with my little axe. So let's move this way. They can hear the cat meowing. So for you here, help. Ah, right, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So I'll close that for the time being. So whenever I need a bit of help, I will have a look at that. Oh, what's this? A goblin named Batfling and his its army of topaz gels has stolen a ring and taken it to level three. Defeat the rabble and return it. Well, 
I don't really want to. I decline that for her because I was at level three. I want to do something that's at level one for the time being. Rico the Enchanter. See what he says. For a price, I can attempt to ch enchant an item for you. Sometimes I can even add sockets. Watch out though, occasionally I accidentally curse things. Do you want to give it a try? No, thank you. Let's have a look, see what oh. um, let's have a look at the map. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, I guess that shows you where all the different characters are. Can we talk to him? Oh, I can't get to him. Let's walk around here. A nasty group of emerald jails have been making raids on our town. I hear they've been they've taken up residence on level two. Clear them out and the town will be grateful. I'll give you this goblin ring of dexterity as a reward. You can find the dungeon entrance on the east side of town. I don't really want to do that. I want to do something that is on level one. Oh, there's a healer. No, thank you. What's he do? I'm well known throughout these parts. <laughs> no, thank you. So I keep forgetting to read all these things. Have I done him? <laughs> yes, I've. I've done that one. So it's down here. There's another minstrel there. So his, his name is Zim. Hello, Zim. What's life? Gambling with the Sportkins, you know. Would you like to see what I have to offer? Yes. Ah, oh, I see. So I can buy things here. The shop. So at the moment I've got a town portal scroll, an identity scroll, and I've got a little pickaxe. So I haven't got much. Let's see what he says. I can remove gems from any item, but it will destroy the gems. Okay, no thank you. Let's see what you have to say. I've got arms and armour. Let's see what he's got, see if I can buy anything. I've still got, I've got an axe. So, what does, well, my hatchet is just as good as anything. I might as well just, oh. Cloth bell requires 20 strength. Can I buy that? No, I can't. So let's close that down. Let's move over here. What's down here? Oh, there's another bloke. Let's see what he has to say. A nasty group of goblins have been ra making raids on our town. I hear they've taken up residence on level one. Clear them out and the town will be grateful. I'll give you this superior flaming light of crossbow of warriors as a reward. I think I will accept that. You have received the task. So. This is where I look at my quests. Let's close that down. So I'm heading towards the east side of town. See what this bloke has to say. Hello, wanderer. So I travel far and wide to bring you the best deals on the finest goods. Would you like to see my newest acquisitions? Yes, please. Oh, what have we got here? I've got already got some health potions. So I don't really need anything else. Oh, fishing pole. That might enable me to fish. I think I might get that. A fishing pole. Fishing poles allow you to fish when you see a cloud of fireflies. Feeding fish to your pet transforms it into a more powerful creatures. You can find fishing holes in town and throughout the dungeon, and you can also find rare, rare items by fishing. I don't really want to get anything else. I think I'll, we'll just leave it at that for the time being and see what this person has to say. Well, you're potions. Welcome here. More potions. <laughs> 
book of identity. I can't really afford anything like that. So I'll just leave it for the time being. What's this? Storage trunk. This is your storage trunk. You can place any items you like inside and they will be, always be here when you return. Oh, so if my um, inventory gets full, I can put it in there. Yes. Beast Spirit the Elite Ogre Block, which will level 46 return when you have defeated it. Okay. Well, I think I've explored most of this map so far. So, what I'm going to do now is leave the video here and then next time I'll go into the dungeon. So, I'll leave the video here and hope you liked it. Um, I quite, when I used to play this a while ago, I loved, loved this game. So, it's going to take me a while to figure it out what I'm doing again. So, thanks for watching and please don't forget to click on that like and subscribe button. I shall see you next time. See ya. Cheers. Bye.